Alright guys, so good morning and welcome back to my vlog and for today I am just about to tidy up our garden so um, as you can see I have moved already some of my dahlias that used to be in here and let me just show you where I place them so despite this um, renovation in here it's still kind of looking not so uh, good at the moment because that part should have been done actually as well but the thing is that it's just really a long story and I just don't want to uh, tell this very sad story here but anyway um, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to remove some of some more of my um, plants in here and move them at the back and I think I'm going to dig also some of my dahlias and store them um, for maybe two months hopefully they will not rot in two months until I can uh, start planting them again for spring and hopefully um, my bulbs as well I hope I will be able to plant some of my um, bulbs as well and yes so um, let's see I will show you um, the before and after result guys of this uh, project for today and yes Okay guys, so here I am actually right now and I'm trying to dig my cafe ole and as I dig my cafe ole I'm seeing some tulip bulbs in here which I think were from my last season and yeah look at that I can see this bulb already from um, my cafe ole and I'm just happy that I don't see any signs of gal. Very good. Very good cafe ole. Oh my god, look at that. It's big. I'm just trying to be careful to, you know, um, digging my cafe ole. And there are lots of worms as well. Look at that. It's so ready to be removed. I'm just worried that I will, you know, I may destroy the the 
shape of it I just don't want to use this one because I'm planning to remove also my other um, my emery pole which is just on the other side hopefully my, my emery pole also produce some nice tuber so let's see luckily these plants that I planted in the ground does not have um, any gall and luckily those that have um, gall were only few and I think yeah they, they were also planted in the pot so I was able to prevent spreading that bacteria so look at that oh my god look at that it's huge there are lots of worms in here oh my god so I'm not sure how can I dig this one without using my other hand all right guys I think I have to um, use both hands at the moment and I will see you after this all right guys so here you go finally I was able to leave my cafe au lait the bulb's not so big but it's fine and yes now I'm planning to um, store it just somewhere and let's see what happens and let me just wash it for now okay guys so here's my cafe au lait and I'm just letting it dry there for a while and then probably I will cut it later on and then next I am going to leave my stripe emery pole so let's see and look at that guys here's my emery pole oh my god look at that it's huge look at that I think I can plant lots of um, emery pole next season look at that all right guys so after 24 hours we are back here again and my dahlias are already dry and I have labeled them as well so I wrote this uh, I wrote their name on their tubers itself and before you store them guys I just want to uh, inform you that you need to inspect them if there's any part of dahlias that are rotting like this one this is my dazzling sun and I noticed that there is a part of it that is already rotten and I need to remove this one or else it's going to spread to um, another tubers and also if you have something like this one that is a broken part you need to remove this one as well because it's gonna rot later on and so I have this paper in here you can also use newspaper and just wrap your data in there and then what I'm going to do after wrapping them like this one, I'm going to store them here inside this cardboard box and just make sure that you wrap them properly and you need to store them in a place where there's temperature between like 4 degrees up to 12 degrees Celsius just to make sure that they are kept cold but not too cold to the point that they are going to freeze or else they are also going to dry and not too warm because if it's too warm they may also rot so just make sure that they are in between 4 to 12 degrees Celsius and let's see what happens and another thing that I would like to share with you guys is this mixture of dishwashing soap bleach and water so this is what I'm going to use to soak my scissor because there's only gonna be one scissor that I will use to cut all my dahlias and as much as possible I would like to prevent any possibilities of transferring any disease bacteria or virus from one dahlia to another and if you're wondering what's the ratio of um, the water bleach and soap so just maybe a dash of uh, soap and then 10 percent of bleach into the water and just mix it and that's it and you know that bleach kills viruses and bacteria as, and as well as uh, soap so i thought that it's going to be helpful to prevent the spread of any virus if there's any virus in uh, my dahlias just to make sure that you know um, this is just a preventative measure because I don't want to keep using different scissors for one dahlia because it's not possible 
and I feel I am not also comfortable to just cut my dahlias with my hands so I will be needing a scissor just to make sure that everything is neat smooth and clean so here's another tip guys and just checking the temperature here guys outside oh my god it's five degrees celsius today in here in our garden and that's why i'm so surprised why it's so cold today and there you go here's the answer and i just want to show you also guys um another way of um keeping my dahlias um here's my first time doing this wrapping my dahlia in a plastic wrap so this is my emery pole so unfortunately this one um snapped up when i was trying to um store them and i noticed also that um i think it's complete it has its um crown and there's also head in here so i'm hoping that it's going to survive for the next hopefully two months and let's see what happens and i'm also going to store it together with uh, the rest of my dailias in the cardboard box so let me just show you so here are some of them and i'm also going to keep it in here let's see what happens and i just want to show you also some of my dailias especially this seedling look at this seedling it really reminds me of cafe au lait rosé and i'm just happy that you know um i have this one here in our garden and i still have another one that is about to bloom soon and i think i need to move this one a little bit in here so it can get some sun and let me just show you also my other seedlings in here and look at this one there's another one that is just about to bloom i'm just really happy about this one as well and some more in here there's another one in here and look at this one i just want to show you also my kelvin floodlight my god it's still flowering even in the late autumn look at that i also have my cafe ole over there and yeah look at them so as you can see in here guys um almost all my dahlias are ready to rest and i just want to uh, trim all of them to make it looking tidy and be ready for storage and i'm just not so sure whether i'm going to keep some of them just there in their own pots or probably i'll store some of them also in boxes and wrap them in a newspaper later on so that's what I'm going to uh, share with you guys in this video and let me start it now so I have this um, scissor in here and let me just soak it first in this um, mixture and here's what we're going to do I'm going to cut this one now so as you can see it sounds so crisp and really ready for storage and there you go and there you go so yeah now it looks um, ready to be removed from the spot but I'm still not sure whether I'm going to um, remove it or just leave it in here so after that guys I'm going to dip this one again in here soak it in here just to make sure that we are killing those bacteria or viruses and here is Sissy saying hello Sissy Sissy oi oi little boy say hello here you go here he is oi hey. say hello all right so let's go to the next one guys and by the way, the first daily that I cut was my Karma Amora. And then the second one is the Sun Explosion. And let me just try.
try to bend it first just yeah to make it easier so there you go and this one is kind of thin so it should be fine so two down and 100 to go <laughs> and then soak again and then let's cut the third one which is my Sylvia so let's cut it oh this one is very soft so it should be fine they are so ready to be stored and there you go and then soak again and then cut the next deal yeah which is i think this is my lilac pine this one is a bit heavy i can tell that this one really produce a huge bob i can tell that this one is heavy so let me cut this one now so yeah so that's um, what I'm going to do guys for the rest of this um, pots in here and I will show you the result later on all right guys so I have finished cutting most of them but um, some of them I just want to keep them still alive for now because their leaves are still so green and still so looking alive I just want to um, let their bulbs or their tubers to get some more energy from from the plants and but most of them are already cut and I will probably just leave them in these pots for the meantime until late winter or probably early spring until I start seeing any you know um, beginning of new life or new growth and that's probably the time that I will also divide them but at the moment I think it will be much better to just keep them in these pots and let them a bit moisturize and yeah besides I feel I don't want to you know um, just cut all of them I feel since this is also my first time storing them I don't want to really take such a big risk cutting all of them lifting all of them and then storing them and then eventually finding out that um, they are rotting because the temperature here in Auckland since we are in zone 10b if I'm not mistaken or zone 10a um, it kind of varies sometimes like yesterday it was um, 5 degrees Celsius and then today it's like 18 degrees Celsius all of a sudden it's out of the range where my dahlias are supposed to be stored in you know that uh, specific temperature so yeah so I think um, I'm done for uh, today in this video and again thank you very much guys for uh, watching this blog and supporting my channel and if you have any questions about storing dahlias or if you have any um concerns please feel free to uh, share it in the comment section down below and i will be glad to respond to your inquiries okay guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next vlog bye for now